last night we got some snow and kind of leaving us in a little bit of limbo before we can plant anything again. Um, but wanted to share with you guys on my favorite cup of chai recipe. So it's masala chai. I've had some really great friends show me multiple times how they make theirs. And then just looking up recipes online, kind of came up with my own. Um, so something between authentic masala chai and American chai, made up my own mix. And then that's what I use to make a quick cup of masala chai in less than five minutes whenever I have the urge. And it saves a lot of money as far as running to the, you know, to a drive through place to get a hot cup of chai or um, just enjoying it on cold days like this that are kind of in between. But um, it's made different all over the world. But this is how I do it and it's really enjoyable. So we used to sell this at Farmer's Market last year and we're just gonna give away the recipe to you all so you can enjoy it too. Okay, so first we're gonna make the mix. So the most important parts of the masala chai mix are actually peppercorns, cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves. And then as an option, you can add a bit of nutmeg and star of anise and ginger. But so the first thing I like to do is um, I use full cardamom and it's half a cup or one of my little scoops cardamom and it's really important if you're using the hole um, to kind of pop them open a little bit so this is where I squish them okay, so just like that so and this is the bowl I'm adding to so I've got my half a cup of cardamom I'm doing about a half a cup of cinnamon and I like to keep my um, my mix well anyways however you want to do this you could use, um, so look. Again, you can use ground cinnamon. And I would cut it in half again. So we've got cardamom, cinnamon, super important. Something I think us Americans wouldn't normally think about is um, black peppercorns. So this is equal amounts, so like half a cup. Oop. Um, so, so far we have equal amounts of peppercorn, cinnamon, cardamom, all broken up. And the peppercorns don't need to be smushed or anything. And then the other big one is cloves. So these don't need to be smushed either, but we're only doing a fourth of a cup versus a half a cup. So, and really you can do any size. The point is that they're equal amounts so that you have the right flavor or whatever. So I'm just doing half. My cloves are in there. Um, and then these are more of the optional ones. So you can do a bit of nutmeg. I have whole nutmeg that I've used a lot. And then just to be lazy today, I'm gonna use the pre-ground stuff and I'm just gonna do a little pinch. So if you were just grating that, you'd only do like a quarter of a nut. Oh, <laughs> or whatever. Um, <laughs> And then, same for star of anise is really optional. So just a little bit of that. So maybe like a scoop size or something. So it's really about ratios to what flavor you like. So this is my mix. And then, obviously I don't wanna, for storage purposes, I don't wanna add fresh ginger to this. So if I was adding ginger, I would add um, if I wanted it to be stored like that, I could use dried ginger or whatever. But for the sake of our actual making a cup, I really like to have, just think of it as like, I don't know, a little fingernails worth. So I'm just um, cleaning up my ginger. I'm just taking off the skin. Uh, and you can do it lots of different ways. This is just the easiest way for me. And then I'm chopping it up. So like, it's just a little inch of ginger. It's nothing big. This is not going in my spice mix. This is going in my cup for today, all right? So, we have our spice mix. And actually, that's just made. And then, just any old pot. 
I've heard the dirtier the better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and a cup of water. So I'm just using filtered water that we have at home that I'm very thankful for. And I'm gonna get it on the stove. So we have a cup of hot, a cup of water beginning to boil. But so the the actual tea is this. It's called milk tea. It's a or the chai itself is. So I'm doing two scoops in my one cup. So this would be same as a tablespoon or a small spoonful. Here is packaging. So just this is actually from Nepal but they have it in a lot of different areas and regions. But the one that I've used first is called Red Label and you can find that in the States, uh, especially at any kind of um, different grocery store. So that has imported things and it's really common in England too. And then this is actually the last chai mix I made. So very similar. This one's ground up a little bit more um, and I'm gonna add one big spoonful. I want it to have like a little bit of everything in it and I'm even going to throw an extra little thing in there so it's got chunks too. So this is everything other than the water, the milk, and then the ginger that ends up going in there. So and I'm going to throw my ginger in that little just a little one inch fingernail size in there. So that's boiling now and that means that I can turn it down just for a second so that I can add one cup of milk. So it's really all about ratios. So it's half water, half milk. I'm gonna turn it back up. Sometimes if it, it will really start boiling over, especially after the milk's in it, so you gotta be careful. And then the sugar that you add now as well, this is a raw sugar, there's, um, I mean, you can sweeten it however you want. I really just like using the raw sugar. Um, I use two spoonfuls, that's what I like. Sometimes people like it sweeter, sometimes more or less. That's really just to taste. So the ginger, the how sweet it is, even what kind of a milk you use. Um, when we did farmer's market, we would usually have a dairy-free option. And if that was the case, we would use hemp milk because I just, it felt kind of creamy, you know, and held together really well, or soy milk. Um, but same thing, a little less expensive, but to avoid any allergens like for tree nuts and things like that. Coconut also takes, tastes amazing, but you can use whatever kind of milk you want. I'm using regular whole milk today. I've heard that um, in like Nepal and stuff that they'll actually use water buffalo milk and so it's super rich and creamy and I just think that would be amazing <laughs> and stuff so you can stir it a little bit but really you want this to come to a full boil again before we end up straining it and putting it in our teacup but um I would say this is <laughs> it's a full two cups which really like an Indian serving size it'd be one two cups but for American serving size, if you're used to getting a chai from Starbucks, it'd be one cup. <laughs> so however you like to serve it, it's nice to share, but I can totally drink this all by myself as well. So um, the, the ratios are super easy to scale up. So like with this, I only used two scoops of the actual chai tea mix, one scoop of my masala spice mix, and then two scoops of sugar for that. But if I was gonna, I would just multiply that if I wanted to make, you know, 10 cups or whatever, or my full care of thing for, you know, an event or whatnot. You really want it to boil because that's what's going to give it a bit more air and frothiness without boiling over, which it will totally do if you leave it. Hey, look, it's starting to boil now. See, we have movement. 
All right, so that's boiling now. That's good enough for me. So, got a strainer, because we do it a little bit chunky here. Okay. As far as places to get um, the spices as well, I'd really highly recommend Mountain Rose Herbs. They have bulk spices um, and Winco Foods has bulk spices. All right, that's my chai. So it's really good. It's super hot in this moment and I don't wanna burn myself. That's why I let it cool a bit. But the best way to do this is in bulk to save money. It's super fun when you're having friends over and getting to practice hospitality like so many of my Indian friends have done for me. And um, you can make it your own way. Use whatever kind of milk or dairy-free milk or whatever you wanna use. So if you're a chai lover, like me, I'd love to know how you like to make it yourself, um, if it's different or similar, and also where you've enjoyed it. If that's something you've just had in America, or if you've had the wonderful experience of enjoying it in many Asian countries around the world, <laughs> love to hear about it. And if you try it and you make your own like us, let us know what you think, okay?